more customers, more growth, right? But what exactly entails sustainable brand growth? You come to realize that more doesn't always mean merrier, especially when it comes to customers. In this video, I'll show you why quality of customers matter a lot more than just the quantity of customers itself. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Josh Chin here. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Cronus Agency, and my company has helped over 400 direct consumer brands scale profits with email, SMS, and mobile push marketing. And our job is to help e-commerce store owners like you achieve sustainable and profitable brand growth. And I want you to be our next success story. And it all starts with customer lifecycle marketing. So let's get into it. Now, loyalty marketing has tons of definitions out there. But the official definition roughly translates to a strategy that's built around retaining and growing existing customers through incentives and exclusive access, such as gifts, discounts, and such. Now, these efforts are designed to build trust and extend the relationship of your customers beyond that initial transaction that's been made with your business. Now, focusing on the loyalty is a great way to scale a business because it doesn't take a lot to get an existing customer to convert again uh, versus a new customer or a stranger. Now, by the way, if you need more ideas and insights, if you like some insights around what's happening in the e-commerce space in 2022 and what it takes to succeed in this industry in 2022 and beyond, I've picked the brightest minds uh, and our best partners and put together an incredible industry report that talks about everything that takes to scale a brand successfully in the e-commerce direct consumer space. Um, link is somewhere around here. You can go down to our description uh, below as well to download our latest report. Now, a couple of important things that you gotta know about loyalty marketing. Um, these are things that we already know intuitively, but understanding the stats and the data behind these numbers give you much better appreciation around how important loyalty marketing actually is. Even just a 5% improvement in loyalty in your customer uh, retention can increase your average profit per customer by anywhere between 25% to 100%. Think about how impactful that's gonna be for your bottom line when you build a sustainable strategy that scales profits on the back end through loyalty and lifecycle marketing as you scale acquisition costs and acquisition volume on the front end. Now, a couple of strategies that you can use immediately if you haven't considered them or if you haven't implemented them yet, these are the four, top four things that I would focus my attention on because it's gonna make all the difference in your business. Number one, encourage your customers to give their feedback. After every post-purchase um, email and order confirmation email, do you ask for feedback, right? After the product is shipped, after your customers have experienced your product for a reasonable amount of time, do you ask them for feedback and get them to engage with you on a more personal level? This creates two opportunities. Number one, it allows you to collect zero party data, information and preferences about your consumers that you may not have known. And that allows you to build a much more personalized journey moving forward into your next couple of purchases. The second thing is that this is an incredible way for you to create engagement that is genuine and allows for your customers to feel much more connected with your brand. The second strategy is around loyalty customer celebrations, loyal customer celebrations. Now, there are a couple of ways around this and you can use the email channel, the SMS, SMS channel or your mobile app channel to accomplish this but these are mostly done through social media, but you can always do this through email and unique offers that are built just for your VIPs. People who have made either multiple transactions with your business or who have spent a certain amount of uh, money on your brand, identify who these people are, who your best and most loyal customers are and celebrate them through social media or through email uh, and SMS. The third strategy, the third idea, is incentivizing repeat buyers through reward programs. Now, when you think about a traditional reward program, it's dull, it's bland, it's not something that you typically wanna engage with. So it's important to put yourself in your customer's shoes 
and identify what exactly they value and introduce those things and incentives in your reward programs to make sure that it sticks and it's effective in growing your audience and your customers, um, your existing customers. Keep giving your customers a reason to come back. For example, giving them specified actions, which gives them the ability to earn lo loyalty points that can, they can use to claim various rewards on your uh, rewards program. One of our amazing partners, Loyalty Lion, makes this super easy. Uh, link will also be in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. The last um, strategy here that I want to talk about, number four, is in boosting high quality customer acquisitions through referral programs. Now, referral programs can be incredibly powerful, especially when implemented at the right stage in your customer's journey. This is where you can encourage your loyal customers and repeat buyers to become brand evangelists for your brand to get high quality new customers for your brand. Now, it doesn't take a lot for a happy customer to refer business to you. Now, what you're trying to do here at this stage is to enable for that action and that behavior to happen. A good referral program would allow for a seamless transition from initial purchase to second purchase to a referral. It's important to integrate all these programs into Klaviyo or any email software that you are using so that you're able to unify that, uh, the, all that data points and information and preferences they're gathering from people and their behavior and create a, a profile uh, of your customers that is super, super streamlined, which gives you the opportunity to personalize your customer journey along the, uh, further along the road. Now, a couple of loyalty marketing trends that you should consider, and these are echoed in our industry report. So if you haven't downloaded our industry report, definitely go down to the link below and check them out. Number one, customers expect a lot more personalization moving forward. It's very difficult to stand out in inboxes, SMS inboxes, uh, and on social media uh, moving forward. It's gonna be harder and harder to do that. So relying on all these information and preferences that I've just talked about, zero party and first party data, which gives you a much better picture of who your customers are, that's gonna help you create a much better personalized experience for your customers. Number two, leverage your customer loyalty programs as a means to collect valuable customer data, which we talked about. Number three, boost customer engagement and streamline your administration with automation. You cannot personalize everything on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but you can do so through automation. So rely on quality, high quality softwares and software partners to help you achieve that. Four, and lastly, connect your multi-generational customer base with omni-channel communication. Your customers don't just live on your inbox anymore. Email alone is not gonna work out. You need email, SMS, and your mobile app strategy to tally up and talk to each other in order for you to create a unified program that serves you well. And last but not least, if you're interested in checking out what Kronos can do for, for your business, and if you're interested in scaling profits through email, SMS, and mobile push marketing, Sign up now for a no obligations free strategy session on our website. Go to chronos.agency, uh, click on the application link, and it will bring you to a simple form to fill out and book a time with my team. Or you can download the full industry report down below in our link to find out more about what, we've, uh, what kind of insights we've gathered through our partners and some long-term strategies we plan to implement for our clients internally at Kronos. Links as usual, will be in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.